All right, all right, all right, everyone. Welcome to what today is going to be the start of Avengers Tower. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Avengers Tower, of course, uh, but we're going to be doing this as like a day one. So we're going to be talking about all the things that you need to know about Avengers Tower as we get started. I'm basically just going to be doing a little bit of a playthrough and doing a bit of commentary as I go through it and get my first impressions on what I think about the game mode, uh, what I think that uh, we should be looking forward to, and uh, my hopes for it. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get Get this show on the road. Alright, so here we are guys, uh, this is the start of Avengers Tower, you can actually find this within the Blitz section of the game now, and I haven't touched uh, Shatterstar's new Blitz yet, because we're going to go straight to Avengers Tower, which we're going to look at. Now, it seems like it is available for 7 days. Now, this is interesting, so uh, if this does reset every single day, let's get the first looks on this one, a uh, Floor 1, so it's kind of using the Blitz system, in terms of the characters that you're using, you're going to get some rewards, and basically Basically, by the time you get to miles, sorry, the floor 50, you should have cleared all the milestones. So let's take a look at this first uh, before we jump right in. I think I might do this uh, daily. If the characters reset on a daily basis, I might do a rolling daily commentary or a series for this. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but some of the milestones here include uh, T2 and T3, uh, those ability orbs, and you're getting blue raid orbs and gold orbs. So not really sure. There's not a lot here. Uh, by the end of the milestone, how many gold orbs is that? Uh, two, three, four, five and a half gold orbs by the end of this, by by floor 50? Uh, I don't really care too much about the other stuff. I guess the orange stuff is okay. It's not bad for newer players. There's like two teal gear orbs. Sorry, three teal gear raid orbs uh, by the end of, by the time you're getting to t uh, floor 50. But that's not really crazy good. Let's talk about the rankings. What are we going to get out of this? So if you're top 100... You're going to get 240 T4s for the end of the week. You're going to get, I don't know, this many Orange Gear Raid Orbs. You're going to get, how many is that? Uh, 25, sorry, uh, Teal Gear Raid Orbs. And then, what is this? Tower Orb Fragments. Collect Tower Orbs Fragments to open Tower Orbs. Maybe we should take a look at what these Tower Orbs are. Now, you do get T4s quite a bit all the way through, which is kind of nice. So, you know, based on what I score in Blitz, I'm gonna, I'm just going to, like, assume I'll probably land at least in the 4 to 10%. You know, I can blitz all the way to the top 1%, but I know this is not blitz. But I just want to expect that I can probably get up to here based on my account, unless I'm absolutely terrible. Uh, what I want to find out more about is the Tower Orb Fragment. So, before we get started really quick, I just want to see... Now, is this Tower Orb, where is this located? Is it in the Blitz window, actually, because it's a Blitz thing? Guess not. Regular Orbs? Uh, where is that? Where is it? Is it not? Here we go. Tower Orb. Earn top cosmic character shards. Teal mini uniques and teal unique gear pieces. That's a bit strange. Let's take a look at this a little bit more in further detail. Let's start with the center pillar. So random shards of characters. Now three characters. Oh, wow. This kind of reminds me of, wasn't there like a Dark Dimension 5 cosmic orb? That's what this kind of looks like. None of these characters are good characters. Well, I mean, okay, none of these characters are shards that we need. Is that it? This is super disappointing. Wow. What's on the pillars? Eight, oh, hold on. What guarantees one of a teal superior unique or mini unique or just gear pieces. Or you have like a, uh, what is this, like a jackpot chance of 18 superior uniques teal. Now, I think a lot of these reflect the characters in that orb, right? This is like for Thanos, this is for Gamora, that's for Nebula, Minerva. They all reflect characters in that, I think, except for the Ballistic Weave, uh, because Call Obsidian was in there, right? And I don't think he's reflected anywhere in here. Uh, but otherwise it is. I don't know if that was intended to be that way. And it looks like it's the same on the right. So what kind of... This is a crazy-ass orb. Okay, so it is what it is, I guess, but uh, why is it just cosmic characters in an Avengers Tower game mode, which, you know, to be honest, is kind of, like, global to a lot of degrees. But let's get started anyway. So, do I need a full team? That's what I'm most curious about. Do I have to... Because it's a hundred... They're like shield minions. <laughs> do I need a full team to do this? Can I remove characters... No, you do need a full team. Okay, so it is like Blitz. You do need five man. 
Okay, so that's interesting. I thought that maybe I could get through this and I could do this with less characters, but it turns out I can't. You do need a full turn team of five in order to actually do this. So I suppose it would be very unlikely that I would lose these kind of things, but uh, I'm taking into account shield troopers. Let's try it anyways. Okay, so what happens? We're on cooldown. Uh, we get 100 points. We move up to floor two. We get 2,500 gold. That's great. Okay, now we get some real teams. And I'm kind of looking through some of my teams. Well, it's 231k versus 175. It is kind of like supernatural ask. Um, <laughs> I kind of think that uh, my. What's interesting is their power stays the same as well, right? So that's kind of neat. Um, so it doesn't matter. You know, you can see the bar. So does it mean that if the bar is blue, that I'm definitely going to win? So see how the bar scales as I like, you know, use different teams. So this kind of tells me that I'm going to win. Let's find out. I hope so. So I... Oh my god, guys. Fuck. <laughs> I lost. Okay. So the blue bar... Maybe I need to tell everyone. Okay. Caution in Discord. Uh, caution, guys. Uh, the blue bar does not mean you'll win. I just lost a sim match. Okay, so back to reality. Now we're back. Oh, wait, we're still at two. Sorry, we're still at floor two, but I really fucked that up. So um, let's go up a little bit more. Let's let's use Red Skull, right? I mean, clear, surely, surely 100k down, we can beat this. Okay, we, we, we won. Floor three, 212k. We're on cooldown. Now, this is on cooldown until... It's a 24-hour cooldown, actually. So I thought it would cool down... Uh, maybe this is store reset cooldown. I thought maybe it would be on reset uh, until the daily reset, but no. It looks like that time, it's been nine minutes I start. Yeah, okay, so this is probably the store reset time, the daily store reset. So do keep that in mind as well. Uh, so, yeah, I Supernatural, without a doubt, should be able to beat, you know, and it's 100k punch down. There's Gamora, though, but I think we can still do it. Yeah, okay. So we're getting 2,500 gold per win here. Power armor. Okay, um... <clears throat> um... <laughs> uh, I think Mercs could beat it. I think we can beat it with Mercs. Okay, floor 5, 2,500 gold. Okay, now we have um, some hero brawlers, some city heroes. So I'm going to go with... You know what? I'm just going to go with uh, Nick Shield Nick Fury. I think that should be fine too. Uh, we got some hand. Sorry, I clicked too fast. Probably 2,500 gold again. Uh, we got some hand with, with Deadpool. This is kind of funny. Okay, so in terms of my characters left, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to use, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use the power armor, I guess. I'm going to use my, my lowest teams, but I, you know, interesting, so 2,500 gold again. Uh, now we have Ravagers, uh, tier 13 though, floor level 7 here, and we have Yondu with some Ravagers, so I think that I can probably clear this with just like like a low team. I don't want to really use too much. Let's go wave one Avengers, I think. The question is, are these going to be new Ravagers with the rework? Now that this is a new game mode, or are we using old Ravagers? I mean, I don't really know, right? I think it might use the new reworks. Keep that in mind, because that might matter. I think it would. Okay, so now we're up to whatever the heck this is. A very mixed team. Um, <sighs> Punisher... Uh, yeah, I'm to be. <laughs> it says danger in the last. So I, I'm thinking that this is not. Why is it a danger? Because it thinks I'm gonna lose probably. So I, I don't want to down punch too much. Maybe I need to start manually playing these things, and, and maybe that's that's gonna be some of the issue. I'm gonna go with my X Force team. Now I don't really like using X Force, but I think. Yeah, okay, we beat it. Now, we're still getting 2,500 gold. We're on floor number 9. This is Defenders. Honestly, I think that my... Now, we're, we're punching 30k. I think... I think we should be able to beat this. Manually, no problem. Ultron would normally be able to kick the crap out of all of these. I've done this before in Blitz Sim. Uh, but does, does the Sim for Avengers Tower recognize that? Let's find out. We did. Okay, so the red bar does not mean you're immediately going to lose. I mean, I know how, how blitz rotations work and, you know, like what I would normally fight in blitz. So this kind of gives me a good idea. 2,500. Now, floor 10 mini boss. This is interesting. We got some hand, but we got silver samurai. It's a bit mixed, but they are 420k. So I'm actually just going to go right in here with my Dr. Doom. I think that I'm just going to blow them out of the water here. and I think this should be no problem. 
I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, we did. And we get 10k gold now. So we cleared floor 10. We're now on floor 11, and we got 10k gold. Now we're 276k. Uh, I don't want to... Like, what do I have that I can kind of use here without... Uh, these are minions. So I think 300... Yeah, I'm going to go with my aim team here. Now we're getting 2,500 gold. Okay, so it's 2,500 gold per floor. Uh, 10k for the mini boss, it seems, which happens maybe every 10 turns. We're going to use... We're going to go for Pim Tech. Three, three dominoes. This would be kind of weird. Uh, because the Deadpools would be reviving. Oh my god, we just barely cleared that. <laughs> with my ghost. Okay, now we have a 400k aim team. Interesting. I'm not sure what I might have here. 500k, maybe. Ghost Spider? Yeah, I, th I think this is down punching a fair bit. But we have a Squirrel Girl here to cleanse. We're going to give this one a go. Okay, we got 25. Okay, we're now up to the next floor. 14. Doc Ox Sinister 6. 420k. Okay, I know how this works. And I'm, I'm going to be a bit more cautious here. This is a really weird team that I have here. I need to fix my Blitz teams a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna go for city heroes here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bit more cautious on this one. And I'm gonna go with Secret Avengers here. I'm down punching a little bit, but I know that if you stun with Sharon Carter, assuming that the AI plays it that way, then we should be okay. Okay, we get that. That's great. Floor 15, mini boss. Okay, so five more. It's a Kree mini boss. 424k. Um, you know what? I'm gonna uh, Phyla Vell's there. I'm kind of scared about Phyla Vell, but I think the Heroes for Hire punching across, you know what? I think they should be able to do that. I'd be really embarrassed if they can't. Okay, we got it. And we got 10k more gold. So floor 16. What else do we got? We got some Hero Brawlers. Can Silver Surfer, like, carry this? I think he can. Come on. Come on, Silver Surfer and Miles. Yes, we got it. Okay, we got, we got that one. Floor 17. Uh, do I have any teams back here? Yeah, I do have the Weapon X team, so I'll have to keep in mind of that one. Uh, this is 444k, some Hero, ver hero Spider-Verse kind of nonsense here. Um, you know what? Normally, Brotherhood is really good against these kind of characters. So I'm going to go in with my Brotherhood 2.0, punching up 60k. I think we can do it. Yeah, we did. Okay, because, you know, if you know your Blitz counters, then this should go over pretty well. Floor number 18, whatever this is, Taskmaster, that's probably the scariest one here. Um, you know what, we're gonna go straight in with, because they're not on war defense, so they don't get the same kind of buffs. We're gonna go in with the new warriors. Yeah, we got that one. Floor 19. Interesting, we got Ultron and some minions. 187k. I don't want to take that too for granted, though. Um, but I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna save my Weapon X, so what else do I have now? Hmm. They're just gonna go in with the Kestrel. I guess. I know that that would do it. That's probably overkill, to be honest. Uh, floor 20 mini boss, Fantastic Four with blue isos. So that's pretty crazy. 528k. I'm gonna weapon X this one. I'm gonna go back to my weapon X, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. I think. Yeah. Okay. We lost Lady Deathstrike, but that's okay. Got 10k gold. Now I haven't been calculating how much gold this has been, by the way. Uh, and I think I've used up all of these teams. Oh, except for my my Eternals. So we got that in our back pocket. Maybe we'll use that for a mini boss. So now we're up toward, we're almost done there. Let's, let's use this Hydra team with Punisher. Don't ask why Punisher's there. Still getting 2,500 gold though. So we're on floor 22. Ah, uh, Magneto. Now this is going to, Magneto and Jubilee. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go with my Uncanny X-Men with Phoenix. And hoping for the best here. Okay. I had magic, so I I, I thought that, that was going to help a little bit. Okay, now we got a mixed... Whatever the heck this is. Wakandan team. I think... I'm concerned about Gamora a little bit. I'm going to try. Ooh, yeah, okay, we got it. I just wasn't sure. Because Gamora might have just raised that up a little bit. Now we're up to floor 24 with a Phoenix. Yikes. Maybe that's when I should have used Kestrel. Um, I don't know if Black Bolt's enough here, to be honest. Mm, might need to go up a little bit. I'm going to go with my X-Factor. And hope for the best. It's X-Factor uh, Red Guardian. Yeah, okay, we got that one. 
So now we're at floor 25 boss. We moved on from mini boss and now we're on actual boss. And this is like uh, shield, uh, secret Avengers uh, cap and shit. 623k. Well, uh, you know, do I still have that weapon X or did I use it? I don't remember. I think I, did I use it, sorry? I must have. Yeah, I did. It's on cooldown. Um, I'm going to use my... <laughs> I, I was going to say... <laughs> um, I'm going to manually fight this. I'm going to manually fight this one because I think that my, my Eternals can do it, but I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to be able to do it on the Sim. So I would be a little bit cautious when it comes to running bot, like, like when you're this high up, that the Sim might not be in your favor. So for the purposes of this, uh, we're going to run this, and I think that the two of them would be able to clear these characters. I think we're going to get a summon. I'm just going to blow them out of the water here right now. Boom. Boom. Yeah, okay, I th so I didn't want to take the chances here with... Ugh. I'm barely doing any damage with them, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I didn't want to take the chances with the Sim. I think we should be still fine, though, to be honest. I'm just going to do the special. Boom. Cap Sam's dead. We got this. We got this. Alright, we got that. Okay. Alright. Come on, finish this off. There we go, and we got this. Okay, great. So that's the first non-sim that I did because I just was not sure, and we got 10k gold. We also got oh, we just, oh, it tells me about the milestones that I'm getting actually with the points as well. That's kind of neat uh, when you do it in manual. So let's move on. We're at floor 26, right? That's what we're up to now with some aim minions. So I've cleared up a lot of my early teams now, and I don't. Well, what am I? Uh, you know what? Let's. Why not? Oh shit! Sorry guys. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay. So what was interesting about this battle was actually there was two scientist supremes. I didn't realize that. Uh, but yeah, I need to make sure about the the, the simming and the auto and the non simming. Uh, that makes a big difference. So we're gonna make sure to stick that back on for now, anyways, until we get to maybe a boss. Uh, Baron Zemo, Hydra, Invisible Woman X twenty three. I don't want to take this too easy, but I, I think that uh, Villain Tech, I, I think that we could do this with Black Bolt and crew. No, we didn't. Holy shit. All right. Well, okay. Maybe I could have done that manually. I feel like we should have been able to win that. How many characters do I have? I, oh, shit. I need to be a bit more careful here. Um, it's that Baron Zemo. Yikes. Um... Oh, come on. Okay. Marauders. Got it. Okay. We're getting 5,000 to win now. Now we have, like, um, Supernatural Hella. Two Hellas and two Mordos. Debuff Central here. And what do I have left? We have a BKT. I, 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 I'm, ah, two Hellas. I'm a little bit... Maybe. You don't get Namor. Namor doesn't get buffed in this. So... Do I have anything back here? No, we're done, right? Okay, so I, I have a very few limited characters left. I'm going to try this with the Fantastic Four, and then I'm going to try it with BKT. Nope. Okay, we did... No! Wow! Okay, well, fuck me. Jesus. Okay, we don't have very many teams left. Five, four, three, two, one. Um. Yeah, why not? I guess we're punching down, aren't we? Okay, well, let's do it. All right. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, I suck. Okay, well, I know this is going to win. Because we're taking advantage of the Hellas. Uh, I, I I think... Holy crap, don't sim. I honestly thought I, I would be able to win a lot of these. 29, okay, well, this is like Merc's, Merc's Shuri, right? Fuck. Okay, I'm going to use my Black Order. Screw it, I don't have very many teams left. 30, mini boss. <laughs> a Black Order. Shit. I'm gonna... You know what? It's a mini-boss, right? So, screw it. I'm using my Infinity Watch at this point. Because I'm, I'm basically there. And then I'm gonna use my, my symbiotes. And then that's us, I guess, at floor 32. And that's it. 
I don't have any other characters. So, by the end of this, we made it to floor 32. Uh, this was really, really interesting. I lost, I don't know, a handful of them, maybe half a dozen matches, uh, because I have 36 teams, so I should have been able to get to floor 36, maybe, but I didn't. And as far as where we got to in the milestones, well, uh, we got to uh, milestone 7, so or 6. Uh, what's interesting, though, of course, is we're still just over halfway there to floor 50, and it's going to climb even more. Uh, so my takeaway points from this, don't sim all the time. Be very careful. Don't sim on the mini-bosses or the bosses, just to be sure. Um, if it's on the edge and you think that you'll be able to do this manually, but you aren't, too sure about how the AI is going to operate in terms of playing it automatically with the sim. I would, uh, you know, take the benefit of the doubt there and just play it manually and do it yourself. And I think that's probably the best course of action. Uh, this is really interesting. I might make this. A, I, I think I'm going to make the, turn this into a daily series, and I guess we'll be able to move this along a bit, cl uh, along a bit quicker uh, because I won't be using certain characters. You know, once we get to the like 400k level, you know, I won't be using my my under 300k team. So I'll have to eliminate a lot of teams that I won't be able to use, or I'll condense some of my characters. And not use traditional blitz teams moving forward and actually using proper synergy. So that's kind of the things that you'll be looking forward to on day two. Today is day one. This was just my first impressions. It's neat. Uh, but I think that as we go on forward, there'll be more things to talk about. So that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully this maybe helps you before you get started if you haven't touched it yet. And of course, until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Oilon signing out of Avengers Tower. <laughs>